today we're looking at this electronics kit made by a company called inventor.io it's their 30 days lost in space adventure kit which is actually the version one of this kit there is a version two that they just released that we will look at sometime in the future it's a different story and we'll kind of go through what you get in that kit i think it's a little bit more um expansive you know, I saw this on Instagram, thought it was very interesting. One of the things when you're getting started in robotics is kind of the electronic side of things. How do you put these things together? You need some kind of microprocessor, etc. And that can be the hard part. And what I really liked about this, so maybe interested in it, was the fact that there was a story driving why you were putting these things together. I know that when I started, it wasn't super exciting. So I'm kind of interested to see how the story is going to go. Um, it comes in a simple bubble mailer, then comes out with this plastic box, which looks like it just has some simple paper cardboard inserts in them. On the back, you can see all the things you end up getting, but let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like inside. So this is some kind of board, not 100% sure what this is. We'll figure that out soon. Uh, here is the microcontroller that you get. This is branded by Inventor.io. They call it their hero board. Best I can tell, it's basically an Arduino clone. I think they say it's an Arduino Uno clone. We have a little bit 4x4 four four button circuit with a bunch of buttons on it. We have a seven segment display a circuit with four digits that can be displayed we have a couple usb cables we have a rotary encoder which we'll be using for something uh, some leds a little buzzer a dip switch we have a bunch of resistors the mark in here says that they're 100k resistors they all look like they're 100k to me we have a breadboard and we have wires to do our wiring uh, a little bit later. Okay, so we've unpackaged all of the parts and we kind of see everything that we have. So we looked at the back of the packaging and we can point out some of the elements. So this is our passive buzzer, this is our dip switches, this is our um, photoresistor our RGB LED uh, LEDs here this thing I wasn't sure about this is the OLED display uh, 128 by 64 and it seems I have two or maybe accidentally got two USB data cables here everything else I think is pretty standard or, or straightforward resistors actually there are four values for the resistors um, 100k 10k 1k and 220 Okay, so to get started, we jump to the URL that they provide as part of the kit, the inventor.io launch website, as you can see highlighted up here. And it looks like we have got to create an account. Okay, so create an account. Um, doesn't really take you to many places. I think where we need to go is we go up to courses and say uh, adventure kit and then well, we're doing the 30 days lost in space kit so we can say take this course all right so let's just kind of get started look at the first one and see what happens okay so day one comes with a couple of YouTube videos Telling you how to get these things started, and then looks like at the end of it all, we will get a LED blinking. So we start watching the video, and they basically give us the background on what we're doing. You know, the basic idea is that we're sometime in the future. You are a space explorer. You've maybe crashed, landed on a planet. You found a spaceship, but the spaceship itself is using old technology, um, and 
you know, the guy down here, he is an AI and he's going to walk you through the steps of getting things running so that you can escape from the situation you're in. Um, and, you know, they talk a little bit about how to get stuff installed. And so now we're, we're going to install Windows or whatever the tools um, that you need um, on the, whether it be on Windows or Mac OS or maybe Chrome or whatever, um, Chromebook, uh, and then we'll continue the video. Now that we've gotten everything installed, we're going to go and plug in the hero board so we can connect it to the Arduino IDE and get our code uploaded. Once we've plugged in the hero board, we can go continue the day one video and that will basically walk us through getting an LED blinking on the board. And that's the end of day one. That's a first look at the 30 Days Lost in Space Adventure Kit by Inventor.io. I'm going to go through the whole program and then create a video giving my thoughts on the kit. Whether I liked it, whether I thought it was worth it, uh, those types of things. Um, that's it for now. I'll talk to you soon. Later.